The doctor shook his head and said, mate, things are looking crook. You've got to change the way you eat and first up, sack your cook. So your aorta's clogged with fat. All your vital parts are weak. You'll be dead within a month if you don't stop eating meat. I said, oh, doc, please don't tell me that. You know, just the thought gives me a shiver. I love me chops and sausages, rissoles, roasts and liver, shoulders, shanks, legs of ham, pastrami, Peking duck. If you reckon I can give that up, I'd say you're out of luck. He said, well, I've got this drastic cure and you're going to have to try it. It's the carnivorous repulsion theory, alphabetic diet. You've got to eat your favourite animals, either way, alive or dead, but you must fulfil the contract. Go right from A to Z. Now, you might think this sounds horrific, but I was in a desperate state. Well, some might call that Queensland, but my hands were dealt by fate. Yeah, my life was in the balance, so head first in I dove. I went and bought a pet shop and I fired up the stove. Well, I started with an aardvark. His skin was pretty thick. Then I went for something lighter. I had a bilby on a stick. A cattle dog and dingo, a sort of mixed grill canine style. Followed by an elephant, which took a little while. A deep fried flying fox came just before the goose. And when I, I finished off the hippo, well, my me, me guts were getting loose. So I had a little break, you know, just to clear the air. One iguana wasn't much, so I rustled up a pair. I fixed myself a jumbuck sandwich, a koala smoothie for a drink, the Dalai Lama on a spittin'. Jeez, that stuff up caused a stink. I had a marinated moose, then thought a numbat's worth a try. And with an octopus and platypus, I made a puss puss pie. I had a quokka, then a rhino, I found one without a horn, a three-toed sloth, a tiger, and a newborn unicorn. Well, by this time I was stuffed. I thought, oh, this diet's got me pegged. I felt like Cool Hand Luke on his 47th egg. But I scoffed a vulture, beak and all. Wasn't bad as what I'd heard. And it just had a baby wallaby. So I killed two stones with one bird. I couldn't think of one for X. So I had an extra quokka. I nearly up from the yow, yeah. I had a bloody shocker. But I pulled myself together. I'd come too far to fail. Took a deep breath, ate the zebra, and cleaned me face up with his tail. You little ripper. Yeah, I'd done it. I knew I had it beaten. I did a quick run through the alphabet to check on what I'd eaten. I'd done the flaming a lot. I was now cured of eating meat. So to celebrate me winner, oh, I just lay down and went to sleep. But I woke up in a lather. It was just a dream. What great relief. But when I whistled good old Rex, he backed off and bared his teeth. The budgie flew the coop. The cat left me a note. It read meow, meow, meow. And that was all she wrote. I went racing down the street. I, I was running late for work. I had to pass the pet shop and the place just went berserk. I ran into the office, grabbed a pie for morning tea, took one smell and oh, nearly spewed, but that wasn't much like me. Then I recalled my bloody dream, you know. The thought of meat just made me crook. So I bolted down the street and bought a fruit and veggie book. Now that's all I flame and eat. A real herbal vegan, brother. From avocado to zucchini, I've got the whole lot covered. So it's vegetables for main course, fruit salads for dessert. But you know, uh, I still crave koala smoothies. And the old one doesn't hurt. See, my life's gone really weird. The cops won't leave me be. Some llama bloke went missing and the boys are blaming me. And I'm sneaking cuts of meat, though I don't think it's all that legal. I'm talking platypus and numbats and, oh yeah, I woofed and have his beetle. Then the doc came round for dinner, you know, vegetarian of course. I said, mate, are you hungry? He said, muz, I could eat a flaming horse. Well, I tossed the stinking pasta, scolded me beer and laughed. I said, now you're talking, doc. You want a Shetland or a Bra?